everyone, again, um, I wanted to make a video about some of the most important things you can do while you're growing orchids. Um, I think the most important thing for having healthy orchids is maintaining cleanliness. You need to sterilize your cutting tools, your benches, your pots, everything. But just for this video, this is going to be about how to properly sterilize cutting tools. This is a big, big, this is the most um, likely way that you're going to spread disease between plants, especially viruses. Now, viruses are like AIDS in people. They're spread the same way through um, contact with fluids. Also, uh, viruses will persist in like dry sheath material, um, potting mix, water from splashing from plant to plant. These are the kinds of things that can spread virus, but I will do a whole other video on that later. But first thing, cutting tools, most important. Imagine that you are on an island with one other person and that person has HIV and you're both diabetics. And so you have to share the same needle for your insulin because you only have one. You are gonna wanna try to sterilize that needle the very best you can. Um, not gonna take any chances with just a lighter or a match. There was a woman that I heard about who sterilized everything with a match. Well, guess what? Most of her stuff had viruses. So, <clears throat> the best thing, the most surefire way to sterilize things is with heat. Now on these, um, if you've got full metal, full metal scissors, that's the best, or if you have full metal shears, because you can just pop them all in the oven, um, if you do things in the oven, you know, your clips, hangers, whatever, whatever, then you put it in the oven at 450 for an hour. If you've got something like these plastic handled scissors, this is what most people have, use a torch. Um, I've read that alcohol won't sterilize viruses and I've read that you've got to use 70 to 90 percent for 20 minutes. So I don't know how effective that is. I can't find any definitive answers on that. Um, this stuff is used a lot, Fizan or Consan. This is used a lot in hobby growers, but I don't think any professional growers sterilize their tools with this. And it says it's a viricide, but I, I'm just not convinced of that that's effectiveness either. Fresh Clorox, um, 10% for I think a half an hour will, will take care of any viruses, but you've got to mix it up fresh because after a little while it, the strength dissipates and it won't, it won't be as effective. Trisodium phosphate is another one. It's a paint cleaner that um, you can get at the hardware store. It comes in crystals and you'd put that in a glass of, or your container of water, hopefully with a lid, and you'd keep adding it and adding it and adding it until none of, until it won't dissolve anymore. So it, that becomes a saturated solution. Um, the easiest way for a smallish grower, you know, anywhere from small hobby growers to if you have a couple hundred plants, you want to get a torch. This is the one I bought for jewelry a few years ago, and this was $60, and that's a lot of money. And this one, the little... The ignition switch doesn't work hardly ever, and it broke about six months after so don't recommend this one but it is convenient that you can just fill it up with a little bottle of butane um, that they use for filling up lighters I would get if next torch I buy is going to be um, one of the blue ones this propane you know you've seen the little blue torches that are a standalone container and then they've got their little nozzle like this they're a little bigger than than that um, and they have an adjustable flame. You can make a little flame to a big flame. I know torches can be intimidating, but it's just really, it's really nothing to be afraid of. Just with those, you don't want to tip them down because you'll get some fooshing. <laughs> like the flame will kind of... So, and that can be a little bit scary. Um, this kind, let me show you real quick. They do, there are cheaper, small torches, like um, at Bed Bath & Beyond the other day, I saw some ones that were little chef torches for like creme brulee and stuff, 
And those were 20, 30 bucks. That's the cost of a plant, but that investment, say you have four plants and you paid 25 bucks for each of them, that's $100 right there. And if everyone gets virus because you're sharing cutting tools and you have to throw them away, you just wasted 100 bucks. Whereas if you spent, for the price of a plant, you can get something that will save you just tons of money in plants, tons of heartache, whatever, whatever, you know, it's just, it's a minor investment. And also those, the little torches are more expensive than the big ones. I wish I had the big torch. The big ones are only 15, um, for the propane ones about at your home improvement stores. Also, I just heard from a professional grower that map gas, it's the one in the yellow container. It's M A P P that gas gets way hotter, way faster. So if you're not intimidated by torches and you want to be able to sterilize your cutting tools in five seconds, get one of those. So the most important thing with this, okay, how to do this. I'm going to make my flame as big as I can because I don't want to be here forever. I'm going to start down here at the base where the plastic is and I usually end up melting the plastic a little bit. Okay. And then I'm just going to slowly move up the blade. I don't want to go back and forth like this because it's just like when you run your hand through a candle flame when you're a kid. It's not. It doesn't burn you. So you want to go slowly. The way I do it is um, usually I can see a little line of moisture that's like collected from the air onto the blade. And you can see, I don't know if I'll ever get it on film. Maybe. I don't know. I can't even see it right now. I'm having a hard time looking at the camera and the uh, my scissors at the same time. So you're going to want to do both sides of each blade, right? If you have a little torch, I would go back and redo the cutting surface here because that's where you're most likely to get your sap. Um, before doing this, I would have thoroughly cleaned the um, the handle. Oh my goodness, my torch won't go off. Thoroughly clean the handles. I will wash everything in soap and water and then spray it with alcohol and then spray it with Faisan just to be sure. I don't like using bleach for metal because it is corrosive. Um, so I will make sure my handles are clean and then I will try not to touch my plant with the handle hand until I've rewashed my hands again, just in case. So. <clears throat> Use flames, just imagine every plant has AIDS and treat them all like they're sick. That's the best way. You don't want to end up having orchids in your collection that like are really sentimental and you got them when you were new and you weren't really careful with them. And so you have this favorite old one and then you get far enough in your hobby that you're buying rare species and expensive things, nice things, or you have a plant, a plant that is a first bloom seedling or that's never bloomed before, and then that one happens to be an awardable clone. And then all of a sudden it's worth a lot, but if it's got virus, you're not going to be able to make money off of it. So, um, oh, for those of you that don't know, if you have a plant that gets awarded by the AOS, it, it becomes worth more money. So, um, if they do have viruses, once in a while they'll be able to clone a plant without virus, but I think they're only able to do that successfully in Symbidiums. I was just reading. But, so, um, I hope that helps. I know I've seen a lot of people on YouTube that use alcohol and other things, and I just don't trust it. I, I don't know of any... I don't ever see articles telling me that you should use alcohol for sterilizing things and I know they use it in hospitals and whatever but some of the viruses that are in orchids like tobacco mosaic virus and um, what's the other one cymbidium and odontoglossum ring spot virus those are very very stable out in the atmosphere like HIV the nice thing about HIV is that if you get a drop of blood and it dries that virus is ineffective you cannot become infected from that but with plant viruses, those can stay active in the environment for 30 years. So your dry leaf sheaths, you can't go from one plant picking off one and picking off another one and picking off another one because if one of those has viruses in it, that dead material still has virus. So um, I hope that helps everybody with just how you handle your plants. Before you touch another plant after handling one, 
clean your hands. Like I said, this whole control thing will be another video, but did want to did want to get <laughs> I don't know if you heard that squeak in my gloves. I did want to get the flaming proper sterilization of cutting tools out there right away because that is so so important. Um, okay, you guys, if you like the video, please subscribe, stick around for more. I'll have more this week, hopefully, like three or four in the next few days. I'm really excited. I have a lot of things I want to show you, including how to plant or how to pot an orchid that has a stair step habit and climbs out of the pot. So stick around for that. I'll see you next time.